guys, it's AK, the random reporter here. So today, I want to talk about Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Specifically, my DLC wishlist. So for those of you who don't know, Nintendo confirmed that there will be five DLC characters for Smash Ultimate contained in what is called the Fighter's Pass. And essentially, they have revealed one of the characters to be Joker from Persona 5. I'm going to be getting into my Smash Bros. DLC wishlist. There are two things that I want to say before I go ahead and get into my list. The first one is that this list is not in any particular order. And the second thing that I want to say is that this is different from who I think will actually be in the game. For example, he's not on the list, but if I were to say a character like Goku from Dragon Ball Z, yeah, he would be on my Smash Bros. wishes. I want him to be in Smash Bros. I love Goku. But if I were to think about who I actually wanted, or who I actually thought would be in the game, I don't think there's a chance that Goku's ever going to be in Smash Bros. So I will be making a separate video regarding the four characters who I think have the best shot at being actual Smash Bros. DLC. With that all out of the way, let's get right into the list. So the first character I have is Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. Now I got into Mortal Kombat with MKX and I have played... I have watched so much gameplay I have. I, I really did kind of get into it more than I should have. I watched a lot of gameplay, followed it competitively. I did get to play a little bit, and most likely I'll be waiting for Mortal Kombat 11 to receive its full DLC edition, definitive edition, whatever for the Switch, and I'm definitely going to be getting it. I do think this is one of the more unlikely picks, though. Again, more, while Mortal Kombat is finally going to be making its way to Nintendo, it's just, Scorpion is, again, Mortal Kombat's one of the more gruesome franchises, and I don't think Nintendo is going to be as quick to really allow that into Smash Bros. A lot of their games, and a lot of the games that are represented in Smash Bros. are a lot more lighthearted. Though, again, characters like Bayonetta show us that it could be possible. The next character, actually, is a much more lighthearted character, Tracer from Overwatch. I am... I'm not the biggest fan of Overwatch, obviously, out there, but I, I, I do like Tracer as a character. She's pretty cool, and I think mechanically she'd make a great character. And, yeah, I honestly think mechanically she'd be great. I do like her as a character as well, so it'd be a genuine plus to have her in the game. The next character, Sans from Undertale. I will say I do think this is a, a, a somewhat likely pick to actually get into Smash Bros. Undertale is a really popular game, one of the most popular games in the last couple of years. I, I genuinely can say that without a doubt. Definitely one of the most popular indie games in the last couple of years. I will say I'm not as keen on Sans, however, and the main reason for that is mechanically. Uh, within Undertale, he only has two two real attacks. He has, he can basically, um, and that is kind of a result of the way Undertale works as a game. It doesn't really have uh, your your enemies in the game typically only have one to two attacks, and Sans, I don't think he would be adapted as well in this Smash Bros. if that were to happen. The next character is Pokemon's Decidueye. Decidueye, fun fact, was actually considered to be in Smash Bros. Ultimate, but they did. Sakurai actually chose on Incineroar instead, which... I like Incineroar, I do, don't get me wrong, but I honestly wish Decidueye would have been in there. Uh, there are a couple of projectile-based characters, for example, Samus and Me Gunner. Decidueye, I think, has actually real potential as a fighter, though. Obviously, I think his neutral B would work similar to um, the Lynx neutral B, kind of has the bow. He could do something like Leaf Storm for a side B, kind of just has a barrage of leaves that he shoots out. Things like that, I think it'd be great. Obviously, his final smash kind of already cut out for him, Phantom Arrow from... Um, Pokemon, Sun, and Moon, I think, again, would just be a solid move for him to use. The next character I have is Minecraft Steve. Minecraft, I think, is, is, is really understated in its popularity. It is, like, the second highest selling game of all time, and it genuinely had an impact on my personal gaming. Honestly, Minecraft Steve would just be a great character. So the next character... It's not necessarily one character or one game, it's actually an indie game character. And when I say that, I mean that I just want an indie game character. Smash Bros, obviously, is about gaming icons. And indie games have produced some of the biggest gaming icons, be it Sans or Steve, Cuphead, Celeste, Shuffle Knight, Hollow Knight. Uh, again, there's a lot of really good indie games there. 
I just, I'm honestly very happy to see the amount of indie games that are now getting their big console releases, I think partially because the Switch exists. And I think a good way to acknowledge that and a good way to acknowledge how underappreciated and how understated a portion that indie games have in, in gaming as a whole, I think a great way to show it would be to have one in Smash Bros. Shovel Knight is an assist trophy and Rayman did manage to make it in as a spirit, but again, it'd just be great to have extra representation. The next character, well, it's kind of three characters because I think you could do one of them and then have the other two be Echoes. And that is Dante from Devil May Cry. I am a newer Devil May Cry fan. Devil May Cry 5 is kind of what brought me in. I I liked it. I streamed the demo, actually, now that I think about it. I am a bit of a new Devil May Cry fan, but I... I actually really do like it a lot. It's I streamed the demo for Devil May Cry 5, and I'll have the iCard appear in 3, 2, 1, now. And I think Dante, obviously, as the face of the franchise, is definitely going to uh, be the one to make it in if any Devil May Cry character makes it in. I think Virgil and Nero would definitely make good Echo Fighters. They have a lot of similar abilities. Obviously, they're demon forms, they're both sword and gun. And I honestly think that it would be great to be able to see them. On top of that, you'd get Devil May Cry's soundtrack and then the Smash, which, like, I can't, that is just awesome to me. That would be great. I absolutely love the Devil May Cry game soundtrack. A street, and now the next character is actually a Street Fighter character, in the sense that I think it could be one of two. So the first one is Akuma. Akuma to me is definitely one of the coolest fighting game characters. He's totally up there with Scorpion. I think it's possible, but I don't necessarily want it to happen as much as the other character, primarily because he functions very similarly to Ryu and Ken. Obviously Ken is kind of the original clone fighter in all of fighting games, so it makes sense that he functions similar to Ryu, and it's kind of ironic and funny that they made him an Echo Fighter. But Akuma, I think, would also end up just becoming an Echo Fighter. He doesn't really... I mean, he's obviously, he has distinguishing techniques and a lot of them. It's just that he always kind of feels like a character that would work as an Echo Fighter. However, this next fighter, I don't think, qualifies. And that is Chun-Li. Chun-Li kind of has a lot more different techniques to Riguin Ken than Akuma. And... I just think it'd be honestly cool to have her in the game. There's not a lot of female characters on top of that, so I think that'd just be a, a fun little thing to add. And on top of that, Chun Li's honestly definitely one of the coolest characters in fighting games as well. She's different, <laughs> to be honest. That's one of the biggest things. She's just kind of a different character than what you you know come to expect from a lot of um, fighting game characters. So the last character that I have to talk about is Sora. I know that Kingdom Hearts 3 was a bit of disappoint was a bit of a disappointment to a lot of Kingdom Hearts fans, and I totally understand why. I actually personally did also feel like it had some problems. But overall, I think it'd be great to be to see Sora in King in Smash Bros. He personally, I am a bit of a Kingdom Hearts fan. I'm making my best effort to understand it, which for those of you who don't know is a lot harder than it sounds. Yeah. But I'd honestly just love it for Sora to be able to get into there to get into Smash Bros. Now, that's gonna round it out for my personal wish list. Let me know what you guys wanna see in Smash Bros in the comment section below. On top of that, I will also be dropping a video describing who I think the four likeliest characters to end up as DLC will be, so make sure to keep a heads up for that. It probably won't be next week, maybe the week after, because I do have a video scheduled for next week, and it is, I can't tell you right now, but it is going to be super. It is it's going to be very super. But without, but without all out of the way, uh, random quarters. Peace out.